Here now, Miranda Devine. She is a New York Post columnist and author of The Laptop from Hell. Miranda, you've been investigating Hunter for many years. You now see an indictment with many of the details that you wrote about in your book, Laptop from Hell. What's your reaction to this indictment? Look, I mean, it's very late and really too little. Um, some of the most serious charges, of course, were allowed uh, to lapse. Uh, the statute of limitations was allowed to expire by David Weiss, the U.S. attorney in Delaware, uh, who he and his prosecutors, as we were told by the brave IRS whistleblowers, uh, just blocked and uh, stymied and delayed all the normal uh, investigative avenues that should have been taken uh, by Joe Ziegler and Gary Shapley when they were investigating Hunter Biden. And so all of that was to protect Joe Biden. And ultimately, um, it ended with that sweetheart plea deal, which they tried to rush uh, to get the whole thing off the, their plate. But by that stage, it was too late, I think. Um, the Gary, Gary Shapley and Joseph Ziegler had really scared uh, everybody. They'd managed to scare off uh, Leslie Wolfe, who was the prosecutor who had been doing most of the cover-up, uh, according to them. And there was a new pit bull prosecutor on the, on the case, Leo Weiss. And uh, David Weiss, the US attorney, just had to step aside and uh, let the case take its course. And so now that's what's happened without some of the more serious charges. Um, and I think people ought to realise back at home now that, you know, you're getting all this um, sympathy play and Hunter's lawyer, Abby Lowell, is going on the airwaves and saying, oh, poor Hunter was a drug addict when all this happened. He was clean and sober in 2020 when he filed these allegedly fraudulent tax returns in which he was claiming, you know, 600 and some odd thousand dollars for prostitutes and, uh, you know, a couple of hundred thousand for clothes, etc. So, um, you know, the, the average American uh, pays their taxes and they go to jail if they are fraudulent. And that's all that Joe Ziegler and Gary Shapley wanted. They just wanted Hunter Biden to be treated like any other American taxpayer, because otherwise our faith in the system collapses. You know, Miranda, while the details of this indictment are scandalous, they're not truly the scandal that matters. The scandal that matters mm. is not how the money has been spent, but how the money comes in. And Hunter is saying this whole idea of the Biden crime family being paid from Ukraine or China, the bank records, the emails, the photos. He's now saying, Miranda, that it was all made up by Donald Trump. Watch this. The Biden crime family, okay? <laughs> The Biden crime family. By the way, you guys, as a crime family, are the yeah. really saddest crime family yeah. in history. <laughs> no, like... but really, think about this, okay? My dad has been a senator since I was two years old. He has released decades worth of his tax returns. He has lived in the public light. We have lived in the public light. We have gone through four presidential campaigns. My entire life has been before the public. It took until, oh, lo and behold, Donald Trump figured out that somehow this is a criminal enterprise. <laughs> I mean, are, like, it I mean, begs I, I, credulity. But we sit here and we talk about it. And I turn on ABC, Face the Nation this morning, or see, and they're talking about, well, Hunter Biden's plea deal and this, that, and the other thing, and who knows what happens with James Comer, and they may find. Are you kidding me? I mean, I really just like, okay, we're going to talk about Ukraine again? I would hope so. To the point, Miranda, I would hope so. <laughs> this is the true scandal how the money was earned, not how it was spent. And that's right. And that's why next week, um, when the Republicans uh, bring their vote to the floor for formalising this impeachment inquiry, every single Republican should be voting yes to that. And if they don't, you have to think that there's something suspicious going on and that they're being bribed or they're being blackmailed because there is no Republican who should not want to get to the bottom of this influence peddling racket, this corruption that goes right to the top of this country and that Joe Biden has been practising for decades. And he brought his son, Hunter, I feel sorry for Hunter in some ways, uh, in as the bad man. And, um, and now he's being rumbled. And I think in January there are going to be um, some witnesses that come forward to that impeachment inquiry that are going to cause Joe Biden a lot of headache. And, you know, it's hilarious that Hunter Biden mentions Ukraine and says, oh, we're not going to talk about that. Yes, we are. That is the most serious quid pro quo um, that we're aware of at the moment. And it's been covered up uh, quite expertly to the point where they managed to 
um, impeach Donald Trump over Joe Biden's sins. Right. So I think that will all be remedied. Uh, and But, you know, obviously Hunter Biden is going to get pardoned and that's why he's so cocky. That's why he's going on this podcast and talking about Russian disinformation. There's never any consequences for him. He doesn't care. Um, but that's really uh, irrelevant. He may be pardoned and never see a day in jail and remain, you know, rich and, and get famous. But, uh, but Joe Biden will be exposed as corrupt and hopefully the influence peddling uh, that goes on in Washington will be stopped. Hopefully. Thank you, Miranda. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.